Hey guys, welcome to day eight. So, you know, yesterday, not yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I didn't get to do all the stuff, so I'm doing stuff today. So, I'm doing store run, but when I tell you it's cold, it is cold. So, I'm hoping to get in and out of the stores and come back and clean. Now, I put a clip, <laughs> you will see what how badly that closet was. And I took so many bags out of that closet that was, uh, what I say, uh, trash. Like I literally did not realize I had so many bags of mails and papers and stuff that I was planning on shredding that I didn't get to. It's going to take me a few days. That's just how much it was. And so I was able to clear out. And so I'm going to get something as I need to put in for storage reason. And it's so much better now. Um, and so I'll show you again. It's a closet. It's a storage area. It's not fancy. It can be. But I don't got energy for that. <laughs> so, but I will show you. But it, it's, it's good I'm starting because at least it'll, all that stuff will get shredded and done. I already have three bags of garbage in my trunk right now that I'm going to drop off at the dumpster. Yeah. It, it kind of got out of control and I'm hoping once I clear all of it out that I can maintain it and never get it that bad I don't know how I still get so much mail and so much unnecessary shit in the mail it's crazy but anyway it is what it is we're gonna do this we're gonna clear the closet up all right guys so I'll see you in a few and hopefully this time I can get my fruits and veggies that I wanted to pick up yeah yeah, but it's flaking, guys. It's flurries. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's flurries. Yeah. Let's get let's get out of here quick, <laughs> guys. Look at my hand. <laughs> the condition of my hand coming out of here. I'm just like looking like. Yeah. So I'm gonna go get one of these hand cream. <laughs> That's travel size. We put them out of hand because this is this is yeah. I'm out here looking ash, like straight up ash. So yeah, no Walmart. Sometimes I get lucky and I get some stuff in here like I need one more of these. Um, and sometimes I buy craft books in here but there's nothing in here that I really want. And that's it. Um, my cricket stuff. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. Um, y'all see a sale price on this? I literally just spent almost eleven dollars the other day. Oh, we're getting one of these. So I need uh, this one, and I need a black one, but I don't see any. Ooh, the black is not on sale. I mean, technically, a little bit cheaper than the other place, but um. No, I'm going to get the color. So maybe get the gold. Because I have some stuff I want to do. Um, over here, I like the scraps. Because sometimes I get really good scraps. But it's a hit or miss. Because the last time I bought scraps, I ended up with one that had stain on it. So, But the price is not bad. So you kind of like... Like this is, ooh, yeah. I'm gonna definitely get this. Yeah, yeah, three yards. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Let's pray that inside is good. I really should open it, but I, I hate doing that. Didn't I say I wasn't gonna buy no more fabric? <laughs> I'm already failing. Y'all, I'm failing. Why did I come in this aisle? I said no more fabric. But it's red. It's Christmas time. <laughs> you forgive me, y'all. <laughs> I failed already. So, I don't really need any thread because I have a lot. Sometimes I get lucky over here and I find patterns that, like, the wrap dress that I use or even this one I think I bought here but I can't but they have an old entire section um, but 
The only problem is they don't keep up with any of the patterns. So they tend to be old and like, I don't think they even replace them. I think they just have whatever and whenever it's done, it's done. Um, so let's go over the book section. So good guys, you guys should pick this book up. And last year Vlogmas I read this one. Y'all see. kitty aisle because I have a one-year-old party situation and <laughs> I think I like these Lego stuff and I think and then maybe like a gift card for some clothes <sighs> this one looks fun too but it says two it's a one-year-old I don't know if that's gonna be okay Care. It's one, but I think I think a two-year-old, a one-year-old can do this, even though it says two. Yeah, I'm not okay. So, y'all let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I gotta get something cute. Again, it's a one-year-old, so I have to keep that in mind because you don't want nothing dangerous. Um, but yeah, I'm out here in the kitty eye. Excuse me, sorry.
excuse me. Sorry. Oh, the cart. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright guys, <laughs> so I stopped and got some chicken patty and I love this place because when the patty just done, like when it literally hot as hell, just come out of the oven, yeah, so This restaurant been around for a while. Their food used to be better. They fell off with the, the like you know the regular food. Sometimes, sometimes it's really good, but it's not the same like when it. So it's a mom pop spot, and the mom, the dad, used to be the cook and the mom. And of course, they're much older now. Cause when I think about it, this was like. 18 years ago <laughs> that they used to be cooking so now it's the it's moved on to family I guess it's the, the son and somebody else so the food is just not hitting <laughs> the same it's just not hitting the same so but the party never changed and um uh, I'm here for it the thing with the party is that flaky crust so I gotta eat like this I'll be like cross all over me and I saw I like I like the flaky crust of a party so I have two more stops before I head back home I have to mail the giveaway where I'm gonna go next I'm hoping there's no line it's about two o'clock Guys, I didn't go to bed till about 2 30 this morning because I was cleaning up. And but I'm proud of myself because it's it's a start. I know it's gonna take at least two days, I think like maybe tonight and, and tomorrow. But I'm gonna build the shelf for that I picked up. Um because I need a little bit more shelf space so that I don't have stuff on the ground, you know, in the closet. Um I wish I could move some more stuff, but there's some stuff there that's from that's my mom's so I don't know what she wants to do with it and guys I got stuff from college days I have no idea why I'm holding on to these notebooks <laughs> let me know for those of you who are you know went away from college and you came back did did you still hold on to your college notebook your college um textbooks that's probably we're talking almost two decades <laughs> Well, for undergrad, because most of those was undergrad. My graduate stuff, I still need because of the industry I'm in. But undergrad, absolutely not. And even if I did, the edition is probably like, like I think the books are like maybe edition three and four, and I'm sure they're probably on 12, 13. <laughs> so, I have no idea why I won't let go of some of these notes. I was looking at some of my tests, some of my, um, that I kept, um, some of my, um, a lot of the notebooks that I kept and you know for those of you who don't know I have a bachelor's degree in biology so still in the science field but in a different direction I was doing it actually it's similar because I did emerging disease um, when and it's so interesting now how valuable it would have been if I was doing it now because of all these emerging disease that we've had in the last couple of years but I'm like why am I holding on to these notes I don't know. I, I can't let them go. I, I, I literally was going through the boxes and I was like, yeah, um, I'm not ready to let go of these. <laughs> so it's a struggle. So let me know if you guys are, do you still hold on to your notes from college days, you know, and how, you know, and if, if you did let them go, how easy was it for you to be like, <laughs> toss 
60s um if you're still in the industry now granted if you're a person who did a degree that has nothing to do with what you do right now it might be a little different but those of you who are still associated with what you went to school for and the degree you have associated with your job did you throw them notes and them tests and everything away and if you did how easy was it for you <laughs> No, no. Anyway, I'm still chilling in the car. I'm gonna listen to some Wale. I've been listening to some Wale. I have no idea. It's been a minute since I listened to that rapper, but I'm listening to some of his stuff, you know. And I've been chilling in the car, doing my errands in this uh, horrible weather. Um, but at least it's not snowing. It was flaking and it stopped. Um, but I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm gonna eat this real quick. It's the post office. Uh, go to the other store that's near my house, and then get in the house before it surprises me and do something else because that's happened to me before i come out here and it just was full-on blazing <laughs> like a like a like a it was just snow everywhere and i'm like so yeah stop chit chatting and enjoy my my party mm. so good home so i'm gonna make some sorrel so i boil the water put the ginger in let it boil for a little and then put the sorrel in boil it for a few minutes then shut the fire off and let it sit till it gets cool then sweeten it simple real simple so i'm gonna chop this up and put it in the water it's boiling Alright guys, so I'm <laughs> I'm in here. It's the cleanup is the cleanup is cleaning up. <laughs> so most of this the rack on here are clothes that I made. And some that I never shown. Do I have a pants hang for this? So I made this <laughs> never worked. It even had pockets in the back. Ugh. Um well never worked because I never finished it. It never got hemmed. So I should finish it and just wear it in the house until <laughs> it's definitely not for this time of the year. Um, I also made this skirt. It's a quarter yard circle skirt. Also, never wore it. I remember the shorts. Wart. which I'm surprised because I could have worn this in the summertime I wonder how it fits now hmm
didn't wear didn't make this one this is just one of my dresses that I I like that probably should be in the closet downstairs but I'm gonna rest it here for now these are cutouts of project that I didn't finish so I think I'm gonna put this down here on the thing. Another skirt that I did not wear. This I like. You see the pockets? not that short it looks short but it's not it's literally like on my knees this with some boots yeah i think i might wear this soon so i got the long version and the short version I think that is it. Fabric. And I forgot I had. I think this was supposed to be a head wrap that might still be and these are thrift that I need to figure out what to do with So next, I'm going to deal with all those bags. <laughs> like I have, they're all supposed to be in the trunk. So I'm going to take them all off the top and put them in the trunk and clear this area. So my trunk is probably going to be another project for another day because I think I have bags in there that I probably can give away. Tons of bags I'm pretty sure I can give away. Um, so that's going to be another project for another day. So I have my little happy birthday stash. I have tons of belt. That's another thing. This basket over here is all belts. Like box that I can't fit anymore for sure I don't even think I could fit this yep see so and this is a coach belt yeah I believe this is a coach belt yeah. 
an old coach belt. So, so that's gonna be another project where I go through that my belt collection and donate some belts. And these are my summer bags. So I'm gonna put them in the bin that I created in the back. And yeah, and I have this bracelet that I bought from Coach. Still got the tag on it. And I never wore it. So, another waist. And because I live near an outlet. So I used to just go and get a lot of stuff. So I own a lot of like Coach Bag, Kate Spade, and Michael Kors. I think that's the most like um, J. Crew. These are J. Crews. I used to love J. Crews um, resort wear collection when they used to come out with it. It, it just, these never, I would never give these up. Um, and that's it. And so. I'm going to finish up clean vacuum in here and then in another video um, I have to show you everything because I still got to clear up up here um, and figure out and still put stuff on the shelf so we'll be back we'll be back so no book related stuff today because um, today was all about cleaning up organizing and doing some food shopping and some gift shop and all of that so hopefully it's a little different today so and I will see you tomorrow so tomorrow is going to be hopefully all this will be vacuum and clean up and we will be discussing some books so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye